In front of me, I have eight card ejector wallets, otherwise known as pop-up wallets. They're called pop-up wallets because each of them has a lever, slider, or button that ejects from six to seven cards from a solid aluminum box or case. In all these wallets, the cards pop out into some sort of a fan that makes it easier to see a part of each card and choose the one you want. It's really as simple as that. What sets them apart is the design and ease of use of the ejection system, the materials, the way they handle additional cards and cash, and of course, the price. Now let's look at the similarities first, and then we'll dissect the differences. The first thing you notice is that the shape of the box that holds the cards is pretty much the same. They all hold a maximum of six cards, except for the Fidelo Hybrid, which will hold seven. All of these boxes are made from aluminum, which means they have built-in RFID protection. Any cards placed in other accessory pockets in the wallets do not. The Secret Slim wallet uses a lever at the bottom to eject your card. The Extra Fidelo and Lafada eject your cards from the bottom, but their mechanism uses more of a sliding motion. The card blocker is the only one that has a slider button on the side. Now, the beauty of all of these ejection mechanisms is that you can pop out your cards quickly using only one hand. It's so much better than the two-handed fumbling required with just about any other wallet. However, some of these wallets are better at ejecting your cards than others, which I'll get to in a minute. All these pop-up wallets eject your cards into a staggered fan so you can see each individual card as it pops out. The mechanisms are all similar, but they're also unique in the way they're designed. If I shine a strong light into one of the extra wallets, for example, you'll see that there is a lever with tiny stair steps or serrations cut into it that eject the cards into a fan. All the wallets I'm reviewing today have something similar for pushing out your cards. It's spring-loaded, so it retracts back into its original position after the cards are injected. Then you just push your cards back in and you're locked and loaded for your next transaction. I've carried all these wallets, some longer than others, but the ones I keep coming back to are made by Exter. And that's mainly because of the smoothness and reliability of the card ejection system. Exter likes to call their wallet a switchblade because of the ease and quickness that your cards pop out with the squeeze of the slider button. A close second, though, is the Secret Slim Wallet. It uses a lever rather than a slider, which means that your finger has to travel slightly downward as you slide it sideways. So your finger is traveling two directions at the same time. For me, it's just a bit clumsier. It also sticks in the open position quite a bit. I'm not sure why. Now, both the Exter and Secret push your cards out into a nicely spaced fan so you can see each individual card. The Lafada, Fidelo, and Card Blocker also do a nice job of ejecting your cards, but it takes quite a bit of force to push them out. I've even tried to reduce the number of cards, but it doesn't help. The Lung Gear is the least expensive wallet here, but one of the easiest ones to use. Unfortunately, it doesn't stagger cards as evenly as the other. The Exter and Secret mechanisms definitely employ better mechanical advantage in their mechanisms because they require much less effort to eject your cards. Hey, before I forget to ask, if you're getting some value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It helps this video spread to more people. Thanks. Secret is known for its fine leathers. For instance, the Slim Wall is available in 36 different colors with corrected grain leather from Holland and Italy. It feels like quality leather, though I wish they burnished the edges. The leather has a fresh cut look to me that just seems a little raw. Extra uses environmental certified leather from Echo Tanneries, that's E-C-C-O Tanneries, that feels like quality, but it's definitely a bit thinner than what Secret uses. Personally, I like the smooth leather surface and more finished look of the Exter Parliament and Senate. Now, both the Fidelo and Lafada wallets use Crazy Horse leather, which is a waxed leather known for its use in saddle making. The leather is stout and makes the wallet feel really substantial in your pocket. The really cool thing is that the aluminum card holder can be removed and used separately if you want a slimmer carry. And both of them are shipped with an elastic strap to slide onto the aluminum case to carry a few bills of cash. You can do the same thing with the extra scented. It also includes another elastic band in the packaging. I like the fact that the aluminum box is covered in leather with the extra, which means I can carry it in the same pocket as my phone without fearing scratching my screen. Now, if you need real leather, you'll probably want to pass up on both the card blocker and the lung gear because they are faux leather. If you're tragically hip, you can call faux leather vegan leather. They both mean the same thing. They're also the only ones with snaps. I like the card blocker's side snap because it doesn't contribute any to the thickness of the wallet. If you need more capacity than the six cards stored inside the card ejector case, all these wallets have extra space for more cards and cash. For cards, they use standard card pockets and slots, and they all carry at least eight total cards. The Lung Gear is the only wallet here with a transparent ID window if you're looking for that. It seems odd, but the only wallet that isn't wrapped in some kind of real or faux leather is the one that carries the most cards. That's the extra aluminum with room for an additional nine cards under the accessory plate on the back. For carrying cash, the trifold designs of the Secret Slim Wallet, the Lung Gear, and the Card Blocker have dedicated areas for handling multiple bills of cash. All the others have slots or elastic bands, but the bills have to be folded over twice into quarters to use them. But really, if you're interested in a card ejector cardholder wallet, you probably don't carry much cash anyway. At $20, the cheapest card ejector wallet is the Lung Gear. It's a generic, made-in-China kind of wallet 
that doesn't come with any kind of pedigree. It has one feature, a transparent ID window that none of the others have. The most expensive, not surprisingly, is the Secret Slim wallet at $95. It's designed and made in the Netherlands, which makes it the only wallet here that isn't made in China or India. As you can see, the price point of the rest of the wallets fall somewhere in between. The extra wallets are the second most expensive, and I think they're the best value overall. By the way, Extra's not sponsoring this video. I just like Exter. The Exter Senate is the first pop-up ejector wallet I ever bought, and the ejector mechanism in the leather is still holding up well after several years. I have links in the description below for the individual reviews that I've done for some of these wallets, so definitely check them out. Hey, and thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.